Well, hello there on this Wednesday afternoon. It's about 2.25 p.m. in northeastern Ohio, and we do have a bit of a sky here. And I wanted to check out the sun. And possibly also do a comparison of the sun with a P900. I did attempt to do it yesterday, but then I ran into those issues. <laughs> with the remote but anyway I'm going to use let me move this over unless it's difficult to do okay I'm a little bit blinded here so I don't know if you can see but here's the uh, solar filter I'm using I have two B&W neutral density filters stacked one's a 10 stop the other's a 6 stop so we have a uh, 16 stops of light and uh, I used a step up ring because I didn't want to Pay for any more filters These were from my uh, 67 millimeter p900 so anyway, so it's a 77 millimeter to 67 millimeter and I think they call it a step up ring it doesn't make sense to me I, I would think it'd be a step down ring, but that's just me <laughs> Anyway Oops, <laughs> wrong way around. Okay, let's head up to the sun, take a look at it. I don't believe there's any sunspots. But... Whoops. So much glare. Okay, and just an overall look here. It's too bad we don't have the, uh, the camera doesn't tell us what millimeter we're at zoomed in, but let's go further in. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm standing to the side trying to see the monitor. fills up so much of the screen I can't even see it. <laughs> okay, I think we have it in focus now. And from what I can tell, I don't see anything like any sunspots up there. Now with this type of camera, we can't get the we can't get the cool looking prominences and flares shooting off, but it fills up so much of the screen it's hard to uh, <laughs> tell where the edge is. And it's gonna be hard to use as a comparison because we don't have features to look at like we do with the moon. Oh well. But just for reference, we're on movie manual mode. Manual focus. Uh, we're zoomed in all the way. We're on F8 and the shutter is 1 over 4,000. And I have so much glare, I can't tell if this damn thing's in focus or what. And and yeah, doggone, I wish it showed the uh, millimeters on here, on the video portion. Just looks like a, a peach today. Anyway, so that's good enough. Yeah, this is going to be a hard test to do it this way with the sun. But movie Vertigo did do it, so... I think a better test would be uh, one of the features on the moon. And the sky is really washed out today. Uh, let me see, the monitor's showing it. 
darker than it is. But if that comes out the same, it's what I see by eye. All right, it's about 90 degrees out here, so let me go change cameras and I'll be right back. That's one thing I like to do. What you can do on the P1000, but you can't on the on the 900. Meaning changing the shutter and the aperture during live recording. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Alrighty, here we are on the uh, Nikon P900. And at the moment I'm on aperture mode. I'll let it take care of the shutter for me. Okay, I had to unscrew the step up ring and that's all. And we see those uh, objects outside of the sun, but that's just a reflection, it's not a planet. And once again, I can't tell if, uh, what the millimeter is to even use it. It's hard. You need to have the same millimeter for each view from different cameras, but it just doesn't let you know. Anyway, let's go in. Whoops. Okay, so there's the max zoom on the... P900. And like I said, I don't think this is going to be a good comparison. I'd prefer to do it when there's a moon out. So I most probably won't share this. <laughs> oh my. But there we go. And we're using the uh, P900, so that's the in-camera audio. So the audio will be different. Alrighty, it's now 2.44 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. <laughs> Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day, whatever day it is. <laughs> Bye now.